What is an opaline or opaline budgie, depending how you pronounce it? What its features so we can identify an opaline budgie? And what is its genetics? The opaline budgie has the barring over its head and down its shoulders greatly reduced, with each bar much thinner than on a normal budgie. The markings on the back between the wings, or in other words, the mantle, should be gone. Though often, they are present but finer and sparse. One of the main features in opaline budgie is on the wings. The opaline budgie wings, instead of having a black with yellow or white background, like you normally see, their wings are black with green or blue, depending on the budgie's body color. Other than that, all the other features remain the same. Eyes, feet, and seer color are all like in normal budgie. Of course, opaline can be mixed with other mutations, but in an ideal situation, these other features remain the same, which means they will have a normal black eyes with an iris when they are grown. The feet are blue-grayish, and the seer in males is royal blue, while in females is pale blue with white, or brown when she's hormonal. As you can see, it's really easy to identify opaline budgies, but what are their genetics? The opaline gene is sex-linked, which means it comes on the X, like in the case of the enogene, if you remember. I'll leave a link in the description for the Enogene video, in case you missed it. Now what does that mean? Well, it means that the female is either an opaline or not an opaline. But the male could be opaline, not opaline, or a carrier for the opaline gene because the male has two eggs and the opaline gene is recessive. Let's see the gene in the Punnett square now after we have learned what it is. If both parents are opaline, then all their offspring will be opaline because we have already seen that in the enogene. We also know that if the mother is opaline and the father is a carrier, then half the offspring would be opaline and 25% of males are carriers and 25% of females are not opaline, because we already have seen that in the enogene. Now let's look at some different example. Let's say the father is opaline, which means both of his genes are opaline and the mother is not. Well, in that case, all the females would be opaline, as you can see in the Punnett square, because whatever X they get from their father, it has the opaline gene, and that's all the female needs to be an opaline, while all the males would be carriers for that gene. But none of them actually is an opaline budgie, because males have to get an X from the father and X from the mother, and since the mother doesn't have the opaline gene, that means none of them will be opaline. If you find it difficult to follow with the Punnett square, I do have a video explaining how to use the Punnett square, go check it out, and come back after you understood how to use the Punnett square, I'll leave a link in the description for that video. I hope you have a better understanding for this mutation. Let me know in the comments below what other mutations are you excited to learn about? And was this video helpful or not? For more about budgies, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are watching this video from YouTube and hit the bell icon to get notified when the next video is up. Or like the Facebook page if you are watching this video from Facebook.